Um, a little bit about Carol. Uh, he's one of the few people I've ever met whose work ethic I admire. It's prodigious. And uh, while he lives in, in the United Arab Emirates, uh, he keeps both times. You can reach him. It, it, is, it is a truly prodigious thing that uh, I'm in awe of. And, and I, I think, uh, by way of more formal introduction, Carol is uh, uh, group CTO at G42. And uh, that's of the holding company and CEO of Core 42, the largest holding. And so I, I can keep going to make him uncomfortable if, we, if you'd like, but th thank you so much for joining us today. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. And I appreciate the kind words. <laughs> Tell us um, a little bit about, about G42. It might not be a household name for everybody. Before I start, having two titles to your name is not always <laughs> as uh, nice it, as it may seem. But um, speaking seriously, I'm super excited um, and uh, energized by what we're doing at the group level and what we're doing within the individual operating companies that are part of G42. So G42 is a company based in Abu Dhabi, the capital of United Arab Emirates. The company was established in 2018 and G stands for group. We have several operating companies with a single objective, to deliver the full spectrum of capabilities required to build, deploy, and operate AI applications. If you look at the very left, we start with our physical infrastructure. We have a company that specializes in designing, building, and operating data centers. Buildings where we host our digital infrastructure. The chips that you saw today go into those data centers that Hasna, which is the name of the company, is um, building and operating. The second entity is called Core 42. And Core 42 is really at the heart of what G42 does. We are the enabling tissue for the individual use cases, for the individual uh, companies within G42, as well as for our clients to use and deploy their AI applications. From there, we have a company that specializes in data and analytics. The company name is Preside. It's a publicly listed company on the Abu Dhabi Stock Exchange. And then we have several companies that specialize in specific domains. M42 is a company that specializes in healthcare, Bionat in geospatial, AIQ in energy. By the way, Bionat is the second uh, publicly listed company from uh, our portfolio, again, on the Abu Dhabi Stock Exchange. Um, G42 is really a national AI champion. And as such, we really work on one of the most complicated and difficult problems to solve. We typically work at a scale that is very difficult to match. And we implement both large-scale enterprise solutions as well as national-scale programs. And just to give you a flavor in terms of what those national-scale programs may look like, I'll give you a couple of examples. Our M42 company is running the Emirati Genome Program. This is a large-scale, national-scale program in order to understand the genome of the Emirati population with the objective to really improve the health and longevity of the population in the country. As part of this program, there have been 500,000 people whose DNA has been sequenced. 
we have a data for over 100 petabytes of sequenced genome. And by the way, people who participate in this program are participating on a voluntary basis. There is no compensation for them to participate. So you can imagine how valuable this information is, especially if you pair it with uh, medical records that M42 is providing as a MRR, EMR provider in the country, and with the insurance data, the claims data that um, the company is also um, running. So that's just one example. On the other spectrum, you have use cases where we build and support the emergency response systems. So as you can imagine, the, the variety of the use cases is what makes this job exciting, and the hours don't matter. <laughs> um, the last piece that I want to mention here is really to give you a sense of how big we are and um, how diverse we are. The company today is over 20,000 professionals, and we have people coming from 75 different nationalities uh, in, in, in the group. We have a very diverse set of researchers, engineers, entrepreneurs, program managers, all working on the same mission to advance AI. And just to give you a little bit more flavor why this is not new for us, the company built the supercomputer in 2019 called Artemis. It was the first supercomputer that was built and deployed in the Middle East. It was, at the time of launch, the 26th largest HPC on the list of uh, 500 uh, largest supercomputers. Today, four years later, that computer is still on the list. It's at number 107. And lastly, if you're curious, and probably most of you already have figured out why 42, but for those that are still not sure, we're paying homage. We're paying homage <laughs> to a person called Douglas Adams, who wrote the book, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. This amazing book where um, we have a giant supercomputer whose sole job was to answer the question of the universe, the life, and everything. And after a quadrillion years of compute, the answer was 42. So we thought that it would be a good idea for us to pay homage to this brilliant man, brilliant writer, and that's why we are G42. I, I thought for sure the meaning of the universe would be a prime number. I mean, I just, <laughs> that's just my thought, but I... <laughs> and by the way, in binary, it's one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero. Um. Why don't you share a little bit about our partnership and how we've been working together over the last 15 months? We've been very fortunate and honored to be able to build several extremely meaningful and valuable partnerships with leading technology companies around the world. From Microsoft to OpenAI to Vast to Qualcomm, but at the same time, the work that we're doing with Cerebris is just a true enabler for us to innovate at a pace that we have ambition. So during the talk earlier, you probably saw several models that were trained, several models that were released and used in production today starting with Jays, going through MET42, through FLOOR. So how is it possible that in a, such a short period of time since we launched the first cluster, which was, I think, in June of last year? We, we announced it in June. How is it possible that we were able to deliver so many different models, and models that are really world-leading models, 
in the space of bilingual large language models, in the space of uh, specialized models for healthcare. Um, how is it possible? So it's really around us being able to iterate at a scale that wasn't possible before. And we're very proud by the work that we're doing with Andrew's team. Um, it spans across not only building supercomputers, it spans across us working on improving the software layer for the system, as well as working on machine learning um, um, activities that are absolutely required in order for us to move with the speed that we're moving with. I, I, I think international partnerships are no joke. They're, they're not easy. Um, uh, especially not with partners that are exactly 12 hours ahead. Um, right, that's, you couldn't ask for a worse time difference. Um, we, we have calls with uh, Carol's team every day in collaboration uh, on, the, on the model building and with our researchers. Uh, we, we talk, uh, are engaged constantly. Um, I have made horrendous gaffes uh, and they've sort of forgiven me for, for not knowing uh, cultural norms. Um, but I, I think we are deep down, and the reason for, for me anyway it's been a success is that we're sort of kindred spirits. We are uh, c committed to watching, to building the AI that has an impact on the world. A and um, when you have people who you are partnering with who, who are similarly sort of driven the uh, what you guys what we can do together is extraordinary. And, and as I spoke about earlier, we've together stood up eight exaflops, four in Santa Clara, four in uh, Stockton. We're about to begin eight more exaflops. Uh, I think there'll be more after that um, in the U.S. Um, it, it's been an extraordinary run. Uh, tell us a little bit about. Go ahead. Thank you. It's been an incredible journey for us it, as well. It's been an extraordinary run. Um, you, you, G42, uh, as the national champion, has global engagements. Uh, there's been uh, published re reports on, on a partnership with India, with the Indian government, uh, announcements of work with uh, one of the green AI providers, uh, green infrastructure providers in Africa. Uh, you want to talk a little bit about what's going on as you're sort of expanding around the globe? For us, it's about democratizing the access, not just to the infrastructure, but to the intelligence that we can deliver jointly. And in order for us to get on this journey, we need to have a geographic expansion. And I will say that Developing artificial intelligence is difficult. Developing artificial intelligence at scale is very difficult. Developing artificial intelligence with financial discipline is extremely <laughs> difficult. So when we look at how we can go and grow our footprint internationally in the purpose of us delivering democratized access to artificial intelligence, we need to be very mindful in terms of where we deploy our precious resources, our human experts to support the growth that we need. And we look at markets that are mainly underserved to a large extent, but markets that have tremendous potential. So one of the examples that I want to give is Kenya. So in Kenya, very um, recently, we've announced a partnership with a company called EcoCloud. And I don't know how many of you know what is the median age in Africa. Anyone? Bueller? It's 18 years, 18.8. .8. So Africa is an extremely young continent, and people who are extremely ambitious, innovative, and eager to deliver um, 
results that will surpass the expectations of, of uh, people who are not familiar with what's happening there. And the other thing that is very interesting about Kenya is that in Kenya, we have the opportunity to leverage geothermal energy for the data centers that we're building there. So this is the greenest form of us powering our data centers and our AI infrastructure and delivering capabilities from traditional cloud computing to AI accelerators to digital transformation programs in order to enable a very ambitious population um, in Kenya to embrace and really innovate because the idea here is really for us to eliminate the barriers, eliminate the friction and harness the power of artificial intelligence that is limited only by human imagination. So that's the, that's the strategy cool. there and um, we're going to grow um, as aggressively as we can. Um, and we're super excited. The idea here is really to turn intelligence into a utility. And then just to, to, to wrap up, not only are you expanding in Africa, in the Middle East, um, but I saw uh, and I got to meet your, your new US engineering leader. Uh, you're growing here too. You want to talk a little bit about that? Absolutely. So. AI infrastructure is exciting, but having the infrastructure without the best talent that you can employ is useless. So we're trying. Don't don't tell them that. It's still good. It's still a good idea. Go ahead. <laughs> we're trying very hard to find the best and the brightest in the world and work with them, whether they're part of our organization, where they're part of our um, technology partners organizations, but we are super excited and interested in growing our presence in the US. So we've been very fortunate in the last couple of months to hire a couple of very senior technologists based on the West Coast of uh, United States, and we'll be opening an office in the um, very near future here in the Bay Area if you're interested in working with us, if you're interested in partnering with us, please reach out to, to Andrew, to myself. We're always available. Between ourselves, we have 24 hours of coverage for sure. <laughs> and uh, the last thing is what we have with Condor Galaxy 1, Condor Galaxy 2, and now 3 is going to be available for usage as well. So if you're interested to experiment with the platform, if you're interested to build fantastic models, you can go and um, register your interest on condogalaxy.ai. That's the website that uh, we're using. It's fairly basic, but it will allow you to register your interest. And the alternative is just to drop an email to any of our team members. Thank you, Carol. By, by way of wrapping up, when you start a company, uh, you, you aspire to, to, to move the world a little bit, right? You, you gather up your friends and the, your favorite people to work with, and you say, is our idea worth investing six or eight years of our life behind? And uh, along the way, you, you encounter others who you, uh, you, you want to invest bits of your career with. And when I sit here, and this is our first one of these, when I see all you guys here, I want to say, say thank you for being interested in this adventure. Many of you uh, I see in the audience today, uh, I first presented to when, when there were seven of us and we had a PowerPoint. And uh, you, you've stayed engaged and, and followed us. And it means so much to us to, to see you here and to feel your support. And I really say thank you for the whole team. And we're looking forward to seeing you next year. So be well, everybody.